And let's bring on our girl, Jessica Watson. Da -da -da. <laughs> What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's so fun to like talk to people face to face. <laughs> Cool, cool. All right. So our girl, Jessica Watson, put together the entire bridge curriculum for year one and year two. And what was it like? Five days, three days a week? I don't even, it was like short, right? <laughs> you like slammed rather, not short, but like it was slammed. <laughs> it was your spring break, right? Yes. Actually, it was the week after. I think when you initially mentioned it to me, I was like, oh yeah, I've got time. <laughs> And I was like, well, maybe she's rethinking it. And then um, once you reminded me again, I'm like, okay, I can I can manage some some extra hours for this. So <laughs> I mean, it was gonna it was gonna be great. <laughs> it is so good. And here's what's crazy: we put together like um, and using yours and also Natalie Incarnacion. If you guys know our girl Natalie from Crafty Kids Preschool, us three kind of brainstormed what would a lesson plan look like for teaching time. What would a lesson plan look for, like for preschool pals, right? These are our online components, you know? And so we kind of like vibe back and forth on what, cause they're both online teachers. And we came up with, you know, this lesson plan and uh, we kind of solidified it. And then we did a, a mock, like for A is for astronomy, like this is what it could be. And we put that out there into our all-stars group. We said, what do you think about this? Is this helpful? And like comment after comment after comment was just like, this is um, and they had not seen our lesson plans or curriculum. We had never written this lesson plan before, but they said this is almost exactly like I teach my online preschool class. Do you saw those comments? Just yes. boom, boom. I was like, yes, we did it. <laughs> like that's the that, that is seriously like the rewarding, right? Yes, it made it even more like you gotta do this. <laughs> this is worth yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, it's so worth it. I mean, so much time saved to have that bridge already done where they're like, oh, huh. no, I literally it is it is like just as good as the local where you literally just pick it up and five minutes later you're teaching. Right. That's awesome. Cool. OK, well, thank you for doing our curriculum. Every person on here is like, thank you. So let's go back to that. What is your story? Where did you kind of circle into my world? Sure. So I was one of the October. Um, people that were on Facebook scrolling and saw the ad about bring the mothers home and and teaching preschool online. And at that time, um, I was starting my eighth year of teaching kindergarten. I've taught kindergarten my whole teaching career. And um, of course, I was right at the beginning of the pandemic. Well, not the beginning, sorry, beginning of the school year <laughs> after the pandemic had started. And I was doing fine teaching online at home, and then I was like, we're going to start coming back into the schools. And mind you, at that time, there wasn't a vaccine. There wasn't like all these assurances of right. not having any. Here's all the plexiglass that your <laughs> students can be in, right? And you're, yeah, yeah. And so I was like, I don't think this is going to work. I kept trying mm -hmm. to do it. Do I have to send my kids back? I don't want to send them. So I was like, I get to make this choice as a parent but as a teacher it's like you got to kind of do what we want sure <laughs> and yeah right i was just conflicted in in mm -hmm. my mind i said i cannot you know as a teacher you put everybody else's children you know like they're your own kids mm -hmm. and just one time where i said i want to keep my kids home and this is the way that i have to do it by me staying home with them so that yeah. led to me resigning from, from my wow. teaching career and I was like, this can't be it. This can't be the end. And so right. I saw your ad was telling my husband, I was like, I can still teach online. And I, yeah. I was thinking, oh, this person's going to give me some students and I'll just hop on there 30 minutes, sing, sing a song. <laughs> that's it. And then when um, I read the book, I'll just read it in, in my spare time of still teaching for the district. And then I just kept researching more. And that's when I was getting more emails from you about <laughs> that was happening. And I was like, Oh my goodness, what is happening? Let me just read this book and, and figure out what's going on. Right. And from the time I read the book, it, it normally takes me like a couple days to read a book. As a teacher, who has time to read extra stuff? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't put it down. And like, I was making notes and all these just exciting emotions were happening. I was like, I could create my own preschool and stay home with my kids. Like, it was just. It was an enlightening moment. So that's when I was like, I got to make this decision. You know, talked it over with my husband and said, 
you may not see the vision now, but I, I got to do it. And it just happened. And wow, best decision. I like that. You mentioned like your, you said to your husband, you might not see the vision now. Cause I think that's important. We have so many women here who have their spouses or family members who, you know, all they have is their own knowledge, right? And their understanding and, and based on their own past of their own perceptions of all these things, you as the, you know, woman here have that as much as a compelling future as you can. Obviously it's very fuzzy in the middle, how you get there, but you know, you have that vision, you know, that, with your work and things like that, it will eventually get there. So we have to sometimes realize they just don't see it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because that was a large chunk of income that I'm just saying, right. you know, I can't do right now. And it's, it's not something that you just decide one day. Like it was an agonizing feeling waking up every day of like, Oh, I have to make yeah. this decision. And I don't know how people are going to accept that. And so, that was it was a difficult you know week or so that I just was going back and forth and I was I was not looking back like that was that choice. That's awesome. So you jumped into the challenge. Uh, did you stay on track with your days or did you post on you know when we said post your script? I actually didn't. Um, by the time <laughs> <laughs> it was like late October and I was you know trying to catch up with what was happening personally with you know, reading the book and then seeing all these amazing right. things happening in the group. I was like, who are they talking about? Where are they getting these things from? Like, <laughs> I was like, I just need to figure out what this is. And so- Let me um, go back to the book. So hold on. <laughs> I love that. I figured out this out. <laughs> so I finally just took, um, you know, a couple late nights and I just said, yeah. I'm going to go through this. And I didn't want to say I need to catch up, but I was like, I'm going to go to yeah. my place and it just turned into like fun work, like empowering work, like liberating. Like so um, I finally, I say by November, I was finally understanding what everything was going on. Like you had had, um, I think the graduation or, or right. something. You it. And I was like, yeah. well, you log on and watch. It was like two hours. No, 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 girl. It was five. Oh. It was five hours because I went live and I didn't stop till five hours later. It was like 2 a.m. Eastern. I'm like, <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> it might have been one of the first lives of yours that I watched. I was like, are all of these life this was like, like really? this is exciting. But I knew I was like, I wanted to see what was going on. And then I, that night I was like, I got to go ahead and get it all stars. I see that there's going to be some support here for yeah. whatever questions I'm going to have. And then from there, I was like, well, I need to do all these other things. Like, I wanted to get caught up. At first, I was just kind of, you know, eh, we'll see. But then it was just really motivating to see everybody having these breakthroughs. Mm -hmm. And nobody had any, like, opposition. So, like, it was just everybody was just saying how things were happening for them. And that yeah. was like, motivation. That's awesome. So... You jump, it's, it's hilarious because you're talking about the graduation celebration, which is literally the night I open up Preschool all Star. So you're saying that was possibly one of the first lives you ever jumped on with me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then did you join that night? Yes. I, no, I, I, not the early bird? It's one of the times where I was like in between, um, I probably had just resigned, something like that, to where I had time. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, this is I'm good gonna... timing. <laughs> It really was. I mean, I, yeah. I couldn't imagine it or, or say it happened any other way. It was great timing. But yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, I have not looked back since. It's just been the best decision that I could have made for me and my family. That's awesome. So you jumped in. Uh, but of course, you now you did say you did it quickly over the nights. You did the challenge. Did you post your script before you joined All Stars or after? After. So, okay. Um, November 9th, early November. I mean, it was yeah. a Friday. And so up to that time, I mean, I guess it was about a week or so that I was just really working on everything, working on my website, mm -hmm. trying to make sure everything was, you know, at least in some kind of semblance of order for me right. to feel comfortable. Yeah. And, um, I, I posted the script that Friday after I felt like my website was where I wanted to be. So I was like, I don't want people to sign up and I don't have things ready. So, Which is funny because I tell you, <laughs> don't need a website. Don't even like, I don't even care if it is, even if it's beautiful, I don't want to see it. Like it's no, we don't do it that way with the script. 
because when we do the script, we say, you know, um, you know, pop into the comments or my DMs and let me know, you know, you'd like to grab the spot. And then when they jump in your DMs or you grab the conversation, eventually goes to the DMs. That's when you say, hey, we got X amount of spots. Here's my link to pay. Right. And that's it. And then they pay and then you're like, crap, now what? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we we'll help you with the now what steps, right? Yeah. Um, but okay, so let's see. Before you post it, what was your feeling? Oh, just butterflies. Just, I mean, it was like I was doing everything for the first time. Like I said, I've been teaching all this time. I've, yeah. I get kids every year. You know, you go through the whole open house phase, first day of school phase, but it was 10 times more than that because when you're a classroom teacher, these students are given to you. You know, you, you right. become a family. And now it's like I'm creating this family and I have to um, put myself out there as to why I should be chosen. You know, parents can choose a school any anytime. You don't really necessarily get to pick the teacher. And yeah. so what was going through my mind is like, I really need to show why me and my school or something that um, they would want to be a part of. I love that. So you posted and then what, what were the results? Um, I got a lot of support from friend teachers that I had um, and family and a couple of shares. And it, it actually, I'm going to be honest, it moved a little slow for me. Um, yeah. And I maybe got discouraged like that first day because I was just like, I see everybody else getting, you know, five, six here. And, I just, I, I mean, for everybody that's watching, I want to be honest and say it may not happen for you the same path that it happened for somebody else, but it will if you are persistent. And so well, let's pause that right there and let's let's dive into that for a second, because when we go through the challenge and we are all posting our scripts together and we are all clicking on each other's links and like commenting and sharing, we're getting the massive engagement on those posts but you posted your script after the challenge was over, after All Stars closed the doors, and now you're just in All Stars. Yeah. And so did you share the post into All Stars, but probably we were busy with the 30 day challenge. So there probably could have been a lot of noise at that time, right? Yeah, it was, a, it was mine was posted retroactively into the group. So maybe like within a few days, I think you had commented on mine and said, post in the group so we can you know get some engagement. And so there was a lot of things that I'm, missed i guess just from being so excited and really being <laughs> shy and scared <laughs> because i like my presence online was just you know i'll like a family member's picture here or there and yeah. it was very much so to do that was it was big but i knew it was necessary because i just kind of felt like your do or die spirit in your book you were like i've got to make this work for my kids and i was like yes. i to make this work like <laughs> Okay. And then you said something super crucial though. You said you had a lot of uh, coworkers and family members supporting you in the comments. And this, I want everybody to pay attention to, you know, the signups, they're the icing on the cake friends. And if you get them awesome. And so many people do get them. However, you know what everybody gets? Everybody gets the amazing comments in there from people that they know and people that they don't know who say, this is awesome. Way to go. This is so great. Wow. You know, and it's that boost of confidence that a lot of us don't get when we have our spouse or our friends or people that might have just that narrow vision. Right. Right. Especially because a lot of people didn't know that that's what I was transitioning into. Of course, I was kind of like typecasted into being this public school educator yeah. and so it's not really like me or what they knew of me to step out mm -hmm. and be entrepreneurial or step out and do something um independently so that was that was big to have that support even after moving beyond you know my cocoon of you know being um as the school teacher totally absolutely so you had a little you had a lot of you know support okay at what point did the founding family script turn for you? At what point did you finally start signing up students? All right, so it was um, actually the third day after I posted. So it went through the weekend, and then that following Monday night, I got an email, and it was for my first registration. And I was like, oh my gosh, because you know you set it up through Google Forms, and I got notifications. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> So exciting. Of course, it was somebody I didn't even know. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know any of us. I mean, I didn't know any of my <laughs> too. So that was really crazy. I was like, they like me. Like, it's just it's a really overwhelming um, but positive feeling. When you yeah. When that first one, the second one, and it just, it, ro- it really does snowball. That's awesome. And what's the effect? Like, when you get that first student, I mean, it's real at that point. Like, you're going to teach that student whether you like it or not. I kind of liken it to you're on the conveyor belt, and here we go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I knew I couldn't stop there because I was like, I'm used to, you know, a, a, a lot of students, I'm used to, you know, just being able to handle a lot. So I was like, I know I can keep pushing this further and further. And then a couple of days later, I got my second student signed up. And then it just on through December was crazy. Yeah. So where by the time I started January 12th of this year, I wanted to have kind of like one, two, like have all January 1st or January 12th, 2021. Like I was like, let me just the date. So it looks cool. But I write it. Looks right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I'll take that date. <laughs> so about the time that I started my first day, I had. 51 students register and I was no, wait wait 51 yes family shut family. the front door how did i not know that it, it was just like 50 people somebody write the comment 51 you get that a five and a one 51 people you started in november like what second week in november first week yeah second week okay we're talking one two full months Two full months, 51 students enrolled. That's amazing. Holy cow, good job. Yeah, so it was just, yeah, I I couldn't believe it. I was very excited, and, I mean, it just just took off from there. Okay. I'm just literally flabbergasted, because here's the deal. Here's the deal. It's not like you got seven kids signed up. It's not like you got four kids signed up that day. It's not like you got two signed up in the hour. It's not like you got your eight kids in three days um, or the 16 to 20 students that uh, Melinda got, you know, over like two days. She was insane last October. Um, And I tried to get her on tonight, but she is also, I think, having a baby at some point. So she is super busy. But here's what I want to point out. Please, if anything, get this point, everybody, right now. Picture this. You are Jessica, and you put out your post, and it's a, it was a Friday, right? Yes. Put out your post, you put out your post Friday. You get some loving from family and friends, but no signups. And you kind of go to bed a little bit defeated because Joy had, you know, you know, <laughs> tossed this up so big. And then the next day comes, you get some more comments, but no signups. So you kind of like... Is this going to work? And you're starting to second guess yourself. And like Monday morning, you like wake up, like, should I delete it? Like, Mm -hmm. should I just like throw in the towel? Like, this isn't going to work because, you know, it's proven it's not working right now. Right. And then, but you didn't, you know, I assume you kept like working at it. And so then you get your first one right now. Imagine this. You get your first first student and you're like, but that's only one student. That's like, how much did you charge for your class? Um, so for my two day classes, it's 68 a month and mm-hmm. for my day is 119. Okay. 68 and 119. Those are such oddball tuition numbers, <laughs> but they work apparently. So good job. Okay. So 68, <laughs> maybe, you, maybe that's a good thing. Cause people are like, I don't know how much I pay. <laughs> it's just a random number. <laughs> you know, sometimes there's numbers that when they hit your head, you're just kind of like, you can't even really remember it. And so it's kind of like disappeared from your head. I think that's it. <laughs> I love it so much. Such random numbers. Is it literally double though? 68 to 119? Is that what it was? It was literally double. But I didn't want to like round up. You know how you talked about using nines and <laughs> sevens, friend. Sevens. <laughs> That's why I'm like eights and nines. What is that? <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. So 68, 119. So you get one student and you're like, let's just assume it's 68. Okay. I made $68 and like, yay, but it's only $68 in like a month. Like that's, that's all like, I'm going to be teaching X amount of hours for $68. So you could have given up at that point, right? Like you could have been like, Hey, I tried it. I only got one student. It's really not worth my time. But you kept going. And a couple days later, you got that next student, right? Even like 
at three students, at five students, you might have said, you know, uh, you know, two hundred, three hundred dollars. I don't know if this is worth it, right? A month. Gosh, I was making a lot as a teacher, yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, got a big deficit here. And is this really going to work out? Or do people really want online preschool? What about when the schools open up, right? But you stuck with it, and because you stuck with it, you had no vision that you would get fifty-one students on January twelfth. As much as you love that date, like. You're working your butt off for it though, I assume, yes? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, can everybody listen to that? We don't just sit around and wait for the people to come. We don't just put out a website and say, my website's out there, like I can't wait for them to come because they won't come. Right, and honestly, I kind of felt that way. I was like, well, it seemed like it happened that way for other people because I hadn't actually done it yet. And so in that two day time from Friday to Monday, you know, I had a lot of self, talk and, and conversations with myself about like, okay, we got to make this work. What do I need to do? And, yeah. and I mean, it didn't happen overnight. Like it really <laughs> did not. And so it took a lot of, of people maybe not being my target or getting a lot of rejection to be able yeah. to push that much harder. So totally. And I think too, of, um, I think of, We've got Denise Shields, who we're actually going to uh, partner up with on Wednesday night. She's going to do a Zoom for us and talking all about um, how to get how to do pre-recorded online, because that's all she does online. She just does pre-recorded classes, period. That's all she does. She has over 300 students. Hello. Like it's available. So you had 51 on January 12th. Where are you at right now? So now, um, now that I've weeded through, I've got a solid 20 that are full-time or part-time. So that's either full nice. or two day. And I mean, it's been amazing because it's we're already like tight knit. You know, the kids look forward to seeing each other. Yeah. Um, and through the process of actually starting the preschool, I added two-year-olds to the program because I started getting a lot of parents are like, well, I have a two-year-old with mm -hmm. work. And I was like, yeah, let's, it'll work. Let's <laughs> Try it out. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. And I was thinking, like, I talk five year olds, you know, all this time. How am I gonna do this? And I was like, uh, duh, you have three daughters. <laughs> like, you right. know how to do, do this. So, I mean, it took a lot of overcoming myself and the thoughts in my head to sure to do it. <laughs> That's awesome. And so. You are just uh, about six months still from when you, you know, resigned from your job. And here you are six months later. You know, what's life like now for you and your family? Oh, man, it's it's been great. My my kids are excited about my preschool, probably just as much as I am. Uh, my husband's been very supportive. It's like been a whole family business. <laughs> like <Right? laughs> it's, it's our everyday thing. And it's it's not work. It's fun. and cool. You know, with teaching, uh, there were some mornings I would just wake up like, what's it going to be today? What deadlines do I have today? And now it's like I create. Like, yes. And it's liberating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love that. That's awesome. Well, Jessica, you are phenomenal. Thank you for being with us tonight. Everybody give her some loving in the comments. And first off, besides that, tell her thank you for the online curriculum because without, it, without her, you wouldn't have had it. So I... I wasn't creating it, obviously. So, Jessica, thank you so much. We're going to catch up later. You're awesome. We'll see you. Good night. If you'd like to have a success story just like that one, I invite you to join our Preschool All-Stars. It's my exclusive membership community where you'll get mentorship from me with weekly Q&A lives, support and guidance and friendship from hundreds of women on the exact same journey as you starting, running, and growing their preschools, and my exclusive access to Preschool University, every training and done for you file that you'll need for every milestone on your journey to help you start, run and grow your preschool. We've all been there and we've got the exact same steps that you need to go through, but we do it all very quickly so that you don't have to waste time or money doing the wrong things at the wrong time. We'd love for you to join our Preschool All-Stars membership. Just go to preschoolallstars.com or click the link in the description to a immediately jump into Preschool All-Stars. Again, go to preschoolallstars.com and we'll see you there.